So I'm pretty annoyed right now. I just finished doing a stream on Twitch, which is, you know, link below if you ever want to watch. But I was working on a new piece in Procreate on my stream. And for those of you who are regulars on this channel, you know that I don't use Procreate a whole lot. I use RStudio Pro mostly. That's been my favorite app on the iPad for making art uh, thus far. I also use Clip Studio and you know, I've used Medibang and, and other apps as well. But I recently made a new brush pack for Procreate, which is Link down below, once again. To commemorate using this new brush pack, I figured, hey, I better, you know, I, I should, I wanna, I wanna start, I wanna make a full blown piece in Procreate. I wanna really, I wanna really work in Procreate. I wanna go from start to finish on one thing. I don't wanna be shifting things around from one app to another. I wanna do everything in house in one app, which on paper sounds like a great idea. Procreate, it can do it all. People do amazing things on Procreate every day. If you just look, do hashtag Procreate on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see tons and tons and tons of awesome art coming through. Everything from, you know, simple sketches to like these full blown like illustrations. And it's great. People do awesome work on it. But, that doesn't mean the app doesn't have a lot of frustrations. And one of them is in their selection tool. Now, if you go into the Procreate forums, you'll see that there are a ton of requests for an expand and contract selection option. So what that means is if you make a selection in Procreate with the magic wand or manually, you'll be able to click a secondary option that will let you expand that selection or contract that selection by a certain number of pixels so that way you don't have any headaches when trying to do things like mask in for line art. Almost every other app on the iPad and on a PC for that matter have this option. It's a pretty basic option that's existed for a long time, but Procreate doesn't have it. And I think I may have found a solution to that problem. Now it isn't as simple as clicking one button like you could do in Art Studio Pro or Clip Studio for example, but it is a solution nonetheless. So I want you to come down here with me for a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the piece that we're working with over here in Procreate. And I'm gonna show you how to make a nice solid fill. So that way the selection is nice and you can do things like fill in colors and have it not make weird little jaggy artifacts on the outside of your line art. So the way that you would normally do something like this is you would set your layer to reference right? You'd set your layer to reference and you would make a new layer underneath your line art. And you would go in, you would take something like your, uh, your selection tool right here. And you would go ahead and probably enable color fill, select a color like pink, whatever. And then you would go ahead and start selecting, you know, the outside of your character. But all, but you can already see that it's selecting already too many things, but it's not going to the center of the line art. And that's where the problem lies. Do you see like all these nasty little jaggy edges? We don't want stuff like that. And in all these other apps that exist, you can go ahead and you can expand your selection manually with a click of a button and you can just fill from there and it fill and you know, super nice, just works. In Procreate, we don't have that luxury. So we have to do a workaround for it. So this is, this is no good. This is no good. Selection and color fill, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. We're gonna find our solution. We're gonna find our solution in masks. But before we do any of that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we have no reference layers selected. No reference layers selected, okay? We're gonna go to an empty layer underneath our line art and we're going to drag in whatever color we want our base color to be. I'm just gonna use pink in this case. Perfect, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. So now that we have this layer all filled in with pink, we're gonna go ahead and go back into our layer menu and we're gonna do two things, okay? We're going to go up to our line art layer and we're going to make it a reference now. You didn't want it to be a reference before, but now you want it to be a reference, okay? Now it's a reference and we're gonna go back down to our pink layer now. We're gonna click on it again so we get this little menu that pops up. We're gonna click on a mask, okay? We're gonna click on mask and you're gonna see this little white layer pop up and that's exactly what we want, okay? And now using our black fill tool, make sure that the, that the color is black in our fill tool. You're gonna go ahead and drag this down in here and you see how all this stuff is disappearing now? That's actually perfectly normal, okay? Because what you're doing is you're creating a window to see the paint underneath when you're doing a mask, okay? So you want to drag all of this stuff until you see everything you want to see on your character and nothing more, okay? So it's looking like that. And that is our mask right now, okay? You can see there's, there's a couple like art of, there's a couple like parts I forgot to fill in, but that's not a huge deal right now. This is mainly for the example. But you can see when I zoom into our line art right here, 
When I zoom into our line art, there are no colors or anything that are outlining our, our black colors here. As you can see, it's a more perfect selection than what we had before when we just used the, uh, the magic wand tool. Okay, so this, in my opinion, is a little more magic than the magic wand tool, all right? So if you want a nice clean selection like this that you can go ahead and color fill later and use for a little more accurate of a color fill, this is the way to do it. And of course, you can go ahead back in here, as long as you have your mask enabled, take that black color, drag it on down. There you go. Make that threshold whatever you want. I'll do the same thing with all these little gaps that I don't want to be there. Okay, same thing, same idea. And then I think this is the last one. We'll go in here like that. Boom, and make sure that's not overcompensating. But now we have our character completely filled out, done, and the lines and color are not butting heads. They're not, they're not uh, making weird artifacts. And now, here comes the really nice part, okay? You're gonna go ahead and you see how we have this mask with the pink layer? You're not gonna leave it like that. All you gotta do is pinch these two layers together with the gesture, and boom, look at that you have a perfect silhouette. Your silhouette is all done and it's all ready to go. Your silhouette is good. It's the outline of your character. It's nice and sharp. There's nothing weird about it and it's on the inside of your line art, okay? It's on the inside of your line art so it's not gonna make any weird artifacts. If I go ahead, if I set this as the, as the reference layer, let's say I wanna change the color to like a, a blue or something, I can go ahead and do that or I guess this is a green, but if I want to change it, I can go ahead and do that and feel free to do so. Uh, even if I wanted to set this as a reference layer and do a bunch of kooky weird colors on our character, I can do that now with the freedom knowing that uh, I'm not going to have all these like uh, weird artifacts on the outside of our lines. Okay, so that is a great solution to our problem. It's not the best solution. I wish Savage would just come out with an update for Procreate. This seems like a relatively easy thing to do since all these other apps seem to have this feature, but for now, it's a pretty good solution. So I hope that helped. Now let's go back to my face. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know today was a quick one. I really just wanted to get this video out there because I literally just got done doing a stream where this was becoming a real major problem and we live fixed the problem on stream in the middle of me complaining pretty audibly about it. But doing DIY things like this is a super fun thing for me. I really love exploring my options, especially when you have limited options in an app. It really brings out your creativity. When you have limited options, your creativity kind of skyrockets because you have to find interesting solutions to a problem. And I love doing DIY things like that. So this is right up my alley. But if this helped you, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, if you have any better solutions for this, I would love to hear about that as well. And if you have any other tips or tricks for Procreate that are things that aren't as in the popular knowledge, please let me know. I would love to hear about it once again in the comments below. And if you like what you see here, you may like my stream over on Twitch. I stream Monday through Friday starting at 11 a.m. Los Angeles time. So definitely catch me over there. I've also recently opened up a Kofi page so you can buy things like my brush packs over there. I have brush packs for Clip Studio and Procreate in there right now at a pretty good price and they're all really, really good brushes. Worked really hard on them. So if you like them and you want to get your hands on them, definitely follow the link in the description below and buy some brushes. And also, if you'd like to support me further, I also do have a Patreon where you can get things like my brush packs for free on there if you're a monthly subscriber and also other goodies as well, like high-res images, things like that. That being said, thank you to all my current patrons. Uh, honestly, it means the world to me. You guys are helping me out a ton. It, you know, you, I'm sure you know how hard it is to be an artist, especially times being what they are now. So thank you so, so much for the support. It really, really means a lot. And once again, make sure to pay attention to that Kofi page. Definitely give me a follow on there, even if you don't want to mo subscribe monthly or anything like that, no obligation but I will be opening up an online store via that Kofi page. If you're interested in things like prints and stickers, you're definitely going to want to check that out. But guys, thank you so much. I hope you found this quick little tip useful and I hope it makes your workflow get a little bit faster and a little bit less like you want to pull your hair out. It definitely helped me a lot and I hope it helps you. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.